hey guys um, in this video I am going to show you on how to download the PHP in our Windows machine in this process um, I'm going to discuss two ways of downloading PHP the first one is using a server called Zump, and the second one is um, the manual installation so let's get started let's visit google.com and then search for zump and then click on this one so i prefer downloading it from the official website and then i'll just select the windows installer since i'm using windows operating system and then here um i'll just select the location actually I just create a new folder and then I'll just call it Zamp. so open the folder and then hit the save button now the installer has finished downloading um, let's just click on it just disregard your warning message and click OK then click next then here you can select the modules or components you want to install since I already have ZAMP installed um, I just create a new folder for this new or another installation oops um, let's try to create outside this folder um, let's just name it ZAMP2 then click next and then set language to English or and then next and then here you'll be redirected to a browser and a page and gives you information about ZAMP or Vietnamese now let's switch to the installation window and then click the next button to begin installation And then here um, let's just click the allow access button now it is finished um, we can run the, the control panel then here as you can see here um, the different modules we installed in order to run a PHP file in the browser, um, just click the Apache or start the Apache uh, module and that's it, you're good to go. Let's create and run our first um, PHP file in the browser. Um, let's go to our installation folder and run the control panel. So just click on this one. Uh, okay, actually not this one. Uh, let's just close this one and then select the ZAM control. And then here let's start the Apache and also the MySQL. 
but actually for this one we can just use the Apache and then disable the MySQL you can still run the PHP file in your um, browser so now let's go on our server and then type localhost slash and then you will be directed to the main uh, dashboard of our server now to create your own folder um, just go to the htdocs and then inside um, just create a folder and for this one let's just use php learning and then here as you can see we have empty folder then let's visit that one so just type the folder name and then here so it is not found so um, let's just change that one to space and see it works but it's showing an empty list of files uh, let's just change the folder to dash and then enter and then here as you can see it's empty now let's create our first file so I'll just open my editor and then here um, I'll just create a simple hello world um, so we'll just print the hello world in our screen Um, open PHP tag and then echo hello world then we'll save this one to our folder htdocs and then jump I mean PHP learning and then this one let's make this, this one as our index file and then let's go back to your browser and then just refresh the browser and as you can see here it shows the hello world text as you can see um, we didn't specify the file name or write the index.php in our address bar that's because by default um, PHP will look for the index.php file and then once you have a different file name or maybe index or maybe home.php they want to visit that one then you just need to update the address bar and then specify the, the file name you want to load but for index.php um, it won't be necessary just uh, use the folder name so now uh, I'm going to show you the PHP my admin. So just visit localhost PHP my admin. So this page here, um, this is a uh, page for your databases. So once you start working with data, saving, and storing, and then modifying, then this will be the the page where you create those you can also use or run php in your local machine without installing jump so in this process i'm going to show you however um, i'm not going to download or install another php but i'm just going to discuss the the process let's open google and then type php and then here let's just select the official website and then go to the downloads page then here you can select or list I mean yep select the recent um, stable PHP which is 7.4 as of this moment just download the file and then extract it let's just assume that i already installed php manually in my machine 
and then um, the only way to test that we successfully installed is using a command prompt let us write php and then dash b so as you can see here it is not yet recognized by the windows um, os so in order to do that one we need to edit the system environment variables so let's go to the environment variables and then here under the system variables the path variable let's click the edit and then let's browse to add a new one so let's just select the folder where we installed our jump so maybe for this one let's just use the jump to then select the php folder then click ok ok so let's just close and then run php dash v and as you can see it's showing us some details about php the version and the the engine that means we can now use some php in our machine now um i am going to show you how to run or process the php file with our manual installation so in my desktop um i'll just create the file i'll just create the folder and then name it php now i'll open my command prompt and then i'm going to go inside that folder now i'm the desktop folder um, I can write a command so php dash s so this will boot up or start a server for us and then I'll just use localhost and then 8000 as you can see development server started and then I can visit that one in my browser you can see it's showing as uh, not found since I don't have an index or a PHP file inside my desktop now let's create um, an index file or a PHP file in our desktop so I mean in the PHP folder we created so let's just echo hello world and then uh, We'll save this one in our folder under PHP and use um, index.php as the file name. So now, once we refresh this one, oops, we still did not. Um, I think I, uh, I see so the problem is that we're not inside the PHP folder so let's just go inside the PHP folder and then here this is where we start the server so PHP and then dash s localhost and 8000 so the port number and then let's refresh and as you can see we successfully displayed in lower and also you can use the command prompt so if you don't want to open the browser you can run a file inside the command prompt so just type php and then the name of the file and as you can see here, we have successfully displayed Hello World in our command prompt. That's it guys. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, um, feel free to comment 
below then please share and subscribe to this channel thank you